Now the first one, the first question is the question of whether the word since is a premise indicator, it's a conclusion indicator, or it's neither a premise indicator nor a conclusion indicator. Remember, premise indicator, the thing coming after since is going to be a premise. Since, if the thing coming after since is going to be a, usually a conclusion, it's a conclusion indicator, and if neither, neither the case. Well, this one should have been pretty easy. Since, bad pun again, because they gave you a sample answer. They say since is a premise indicator. Great, we could have gone over there and matched it to the list, but remember I said that's probably not the best way to do it because you're really not going to really remember these words. But here's a way to think about it. Think of an example. I got an A on the test since I got all the answers right. So what comes after since I got all the answers right, that serves as a reason for why you got an A on the test. So since, what comes after since is a premise, the thing that's going to, a reason that's going to support the conclusion. So since is a premise indicator. Okay, let's take a look at number two. As a result, which way is that going to work? Well, we could look it on, up on the list, but let's think of some examples. In fact, I came up with an example. Abortion is murder as a result, it is wrong. So what comes after as a result, that expression, is it is wrong. And it also tells you in English as a result means, you know, the consequence, what happens, or what's true because the first thing that we just said is true. The second thing is social because we just agreed that abortion is murder. As a result, therefore, it's wrong. So that's a, as a result is a conclusion indicator. Say that's okay. That's number two. Think about it. If you're not sure, go back, stop the video. You got it wrong. Think about it. But compare these with the answers. And by the way, I should have mentioned it earlier. Don't look at this before you've done the exercises. It defeats the whole purpose of what you're trying to do. That is, learn a little bit about identifying premises and conclusions and how you'll do that.